I'm the MC Chinga Ward, and even before I was elected an MC, I had been a human rights activist, and I am also an environmental activist. And um, for quite some time, there has been a start of Mobile concerning the dump site. And uh, what happens with the issue of this garbage collection and, dump and dumping in Mobile is that uh, at a place called Yechew, you know, people there will tell you the adults now that when they were young, they used to swim at Ikeo because Ikeo is a riparian land, it's a wetland. Then it later changed and there was a slaughterhouse there. Later on, it became, you know, it gradually start, people started gradually dumping there until today it appears no to dump there but no process so far or there is no education that the due process uh, such as public participation such as usage of user were factored when these things were being done so earlier this year there was a Great Hulabalu, the locals, because it is situated right in a village. There was a great Hulabalu at the locals protested for the dumping at that area because they, are, they were claiming most of them use inhalers because the order that emanates from the garbage goes to people's homes which are right next to the dump site. There has been consistent complaints from those people. They are really suffering. The Wagari Madai Environmental Institute of Nairobi University concluded that dump site is a wrong place. But I don't want to delve so much into this matter because it's in the courts. But what happened is that after this start of we were called as the MP, uh, uh, the MP and the MCs from Mobile. We sat down and talked. We went there. And of course, after listening to these people, you have no otherwise other than to side with them because their rights are being oppressed. So I wrote to Nema. I requested for a temporary closure of this dump site so that further expert analysis can be done at the place which will lead to the determination of whether it's right to dump at this place. And the NEMA sent us, because I went and saw the director general in Nairobi, and he sent us to the NEMA here in Europe, but they were not helpful in any way. Now what alarmed me most was that as we were trying to amicably through this issue, the county government, in conjunction with the administration, the government administration, the DCC's office, and the police, they sent a contingent of policemen there at 2 a.m. at night, and a fierce fight broke out between the locals and the police. And I was very alarmed because you know these are locals, innocent people just using stones to fight off policemen who are armed with guns. And I remember even telling the former DCC near the south. I told him that was the first step towards witnessing fatalities in Matilda. Because the moment a stone will hit a policeman. He is badly injured. Maybe he's beaten with a stone. He feels down. The police or the police himself, if he is not very badly hurt, will shoot him to those people. And we shall start witnessing fatalities. So 
I decided enough was enough. We would not wait for fatalities to happen. Then we start making noise around. And noise will not bring back human life if it, if it is lost. That is when those people, because they were really crying out to us, Kiroga to Saidien, Kiroga to Saidien, I went to court. Because I listened, we need an adjudication of this matter by an independent player who is a court. I took my, 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 my affidavit, I swore my affidavit in court. I sued the county government of Nairi and the NEMA, National Environment Management Authority. Because you see, they should be regulating where the people dump. The county government is the one which is dumping. Now, there has been a whole banner of politics towards that issue. Some have been saying I sued so that garbage should not be collected from the buyer. Others are saying we have sued the governor. There is a difference between the governor, whom I really support, and the county government of me. So, some people decided to introduce very backward politics towards the issue. And it's important for me to point, to point out that even when I filed my case, I filed another case that was also filed concerning the same dam site. In fact, the two cases were consolidated. Environment case number 8 and 9 of 2020 in the Environment Court in Yale were consolidated to, so that they would be heard together and once a, a single determination would be made towards the two cases. So, after that, that's when I'm saying some people decided to bring in very bad politics because they have started saying we are fighting the governor, which is not the case. We are concerned about those helpless people at care. They said they advised the county government not to be picking garbage in that town and in the whole of their constituency anyway. So, and they went out there with an excuse. Kiroga has taken us to court. So after some time, almost four months, and everywhere in Ubaya, out. Very, very, very bad situation and gaffed our area. And now, amid the COVID pandemic, Udaya was faced with the possibility of an outbreak of cholera and other diseases associated with garbage. That's when I came out and I gave the county government of Nyeri a 14 days ultimatum that they either collect that garbage in Ibaya, which falls under their mandate, or I would personally lead the people of Odaya in cleaning up that town. And I even wrote an email to General Badi requesting we be allowed to take our garbage all the way to the door dump site. Then I even notified the local police boss, the OCS of Aya. And I told him we want to be allowed or we, are, we give notice we would be engaged in a citizen's cleanup for their town if the county government of the did not respond. Of course, because they had been playing mischief all along, they collected that garbage. But sadly, they used about 500 policemen to dump at the same controversial Ikeo dump sites. So we advised the rockers, don't even fight with those policemen. We shall still we shall go back to court. Because we hold, we hold, and I hold it very strongly here, without any fear. The cave is the long place for dumping. That is why we went to court to convince the court this is a repugnant land. 
There are laws protecting the barrier lads. They are saying the dumping has taken place at Vikeo for almost 30 years. We are telling them apartheid in South Africa took about a hundred years old. The prolonged period and illegality takes place does not justify or make that illegality a light. We were colonized by the Britain here for quite a number of years. The longevity of the time and long thing takes place and illegality takes place does not justify this. Justify it. For a long to take place, for a very long period of time, does not convert that long, does not convert that bad thing become a good thing because it's been done for a long time. So, we shall continue fighting on, our people are suffering, but the good thing at least, they are collecting garbage, but the bad thing is, they are dumping it at the wrong place. But we want to go ahead with the court case, so that the case, the court, can determine whether that is the right place for garbage to be dumped. Right? So, that's where we are. And uh, what I would like to say is that the county government of Nyej cannot learn away from its obligations. They cannot come and ask me as an MCA where I want them to turn. I don't collect leads, they collect leads. I don't receive any money for implementation of projects from the national government. They do. And I don't know why they are refusing to explore the possibility of processing garbage instead of dumping it. They cannot ask us such questions. When they were put in place by Wajiko of Nyeri, they were given the mandate to be thinking on behalf of Wajiko. My role as part of the county government of Nyeri is very different from the rule. Mine is an oversighting law, legislating law, representation law. Theirs is implementation. They are the ones supposed to know what is supposed to be done with this garbage. But they are going out there lying to people, this man is part of the county government, he should be bringing a solution. No way! We, pass a, we even pass motions in the assembly, but it is them to implement. It's them who bring the budget to the assembly. Let them bring a budget to the county assembly. We shall mobilize and ensure we support them fully so that they are able to come up with ways and measures of dealing with the garbage problem in Nyeri County. That one we promise. But they, are, they, they will not escape from this. We cannot allow innocent Mananchi to be oppressed, to have their lives trampled upon by being given a dirty environment by a county government they have elected, which is then using the power of a gun to try and suppress and muzzle the voices of our people who are saying this garbage is killing. I thank you very much. It's been done for a long time. So, we shall continue fighting on. Our people are suffering. But the good thing at least, they are collecting garbage. But the bad thing is, they are dumping it at the wrong place. But we want to go ahead with the court case. So that the case, the court, can determine whether that is the right place for garbage to be dumped. Right? So, that's where we are. And uh, what I would like to say is that the county government of Nyeri cannot run away from its obligations. They cannot come and ask me as an MCA where I want them to turn. 
I don't collect leads, they collect leads. I don't receive any money for implementation of projects from the national government. They do. And I don't know why they are refusing to explore the possibility of processing garbage instead of dumping it. They cannot ask us such questions when they were put in place by Wajiko of Nyeri. They were given the mandate to be thinking on behalf of Wajiko. My role as part of the county government of Nyeri is very different from the role. Mine is an oversighting role, legislating role, representation role. Theirs is implementation. They are the ones supposed to know what is supposed to be done with this garbage. But they are going out there lying to people, this man is part of the county government, he should be bringing a solution. No way! We, pass a, we even pass motions in the assembly, but it is them to implement. It's them who bring the budget to the assembly. Let them bring a budget to the county assembly, we shall mobilize and ensure we support them fully so that they are able to come up with ways and measures of dealing with the garbage problem in Nyeri County. That one we promise. But they, are, they, they will not escape from this. We cannot allow innocent Mananchi to be oppressed, to have their lives trampled upon by being given a dirty environment by a county government they have elected, which is then using the power. And now, amid the COVID pandemic, Odaya was faced with the possibility of an outbreak of cholera and other diseases associated with garbage. That's when I came out and I gave the county government of Nyeri a 14 days ultimatum that they either collect that garbage in buy, which falls under the mandate, or I would personally lead the people of Odaya in cleaning up that town. And I even wrote an email to General Badi requesting we be allowed to take our garbage all the way to the door dump site. Then I even notified the local police boss, the OCS of Odaya. And I told him, we want to be allowed, or we, are, we give notice, we would be engaged in a citizen's cleanup of their town if the county government of Nyeri did not respond. Of course, because they had been playing mischief all along, they collected that garbage, but sadly, they used about 500 policemen to dump at the same controversial Ikeo dump site. So we advised the Rockers, don't even fight with those policemen. We shall still we shall go back to court because we hold, we hold and I hold it very strongly here without any fear. Ikeo is the long place for dumping. That is why we went to court to convince the court this is a Lipanian land. There are laws protecting Lipanian lands. They are saying dumping has taken place at Rikeo for almost 30 years. We are telling them apartheid in South Africa took about a hundred years on Bata by an independent player. Who is the court? I took my, 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 my affidavit, I swore my affidavit in court. I sued the county government of Nyeri and the NEMA, National Environment Management Authority. Because you see, they should be regulating where the people dump, but the county government is the one which is dumping. Now, there has been no banner of politics towards that issue. Some have been saying I sued so that garbage should not be collected from the buyer. 
Others are saying we have sued the governor. There is a difference between the governor, whom I really support, and the county government of me. So, some people decided to introduce very backward politics towards the issue. And it's important for me to point, to point out that even when I filed my case, I filed another case that was also filed concerning the same dam site. In fact, the two cases were consolidated. Environment case number 89 of 2020 in the Environment Court in Yale were consolidated to, so that they would be heard together and once a, a single determination would be made towards the two cases. So, after that, that's when I'm saying some people decided to play in very bad politics because they have started saying we are fighting the governor, which is not the case. We are concerned about those helpless people at EKU. They said they advised the county government not to be picking garbage in that town and in the whole of their constituency anyway. So, and they went out there with an excuse. Kiruga has taken us to court. So after some time, almost four months, and everywhere in Ubaya, out. Very, very, very bad situation and gaffed our area. And now, amid the COVID pandemic, Ubaya was faced with the possibility of an outbreak of cholera and other diseases associated with garbage. That's when I came out and I gave the county government of Nyeri a 14 days ultimatum that they either collect that garbage in Ibai, which we talked, we went there, and of course after listening to these people, you have no otherwise other than to side with them because their rights are being oppressed. So, I wrote to Nema, I requested for a temporary closure of this dam site so that further expert analysis can be done at the place, which will lead to the determination of whether it's right to dump at this place. And the Nema sent us, because I went and saw the director general in Nairobi, and he sent us to the Nema here in Europe. But they were not helpful in any way. Now, what alarmed me most was that as we were trying to amicably through this issue, the county government, in conjunction with the administration, the government administration, the DCC office, and the police, they sent a contingent of policemen there at 2 a.m. at night and a fierce fight broke out between the locals and the police. And I was very alarmed because, you know, these are locals, innocent people just using stones to fight off policemen who are armed with guns. And I remember even telling you, the former DCC near the south. I told him that was the first step towards witnessing fatalities in Matindi. Because the moment a stone will hit a policeman, he is badly injured, maybe he's beaten with a stone, he goes down. The colleagues or the police himself, if he is not very badly hurt, will shoot him to the people. And we shall start witnessing fatalities. So I decided enough was enough. We would not wait for fatalities to happen. Then we start making noise aloud. And noise will not bring back human life if it is lost. That is when those people, because they were really crying out to us, Kiroga to say the end, Kiroga to say the end. I went to court because I listened. We need an adjudication of this matter by an independent 